Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. It's been a little while, not to say a long while. More than a month actually, since I last recorded. So let's keep going. You must have seen some amazing sights on your way north. Sure. Pirate cities floating in the archipelago. The mountain halls of these northern dwarves. Plenty. I haven't been further south than the Deerwood myself. Maybe I'll come back after I've convinced the Ranganui and see all those things for myself. I hope you do. Okay. Um, so let's tap to highlight items again. I've played something else recently. Wasteland 2, where it's the Z key. So I was yeah, trying to find my bindings again. Uh, let's talk to Nadine. Hail and well met. Okay. You are summoned to Hadrid House, where Lady Webb wishes to meet with you as soon as possible. Uh. So, how did you know where to find me? So Lady Webb, she knows everything. So she's a spider. Uh, tell me about her. Okay, what's done, Red Row? Okay, so where's Hadred House? Southwest corner of Brackenbury. Okay. Maybe down here? That would be the southwest corner. Yep. Okay, older old man who is tensed. The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. They speak out of concern for you. Now tell me. Is there something to their concerns? You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? These are the ways of the heathen world. Yeah, let's just reset, I guess. <laughs> Perhaps they would. It may come to that one day. This is why we must not fail. The heathens are beyond the gods' reach. They do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods, so that the gods may heal their souls. I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too choose to remain there is no greater calling than the one we have chosen neither words nor wealth nor battle will end this suffering only the gods will you give them that chance I suppose not like I have any other options interesting very interesting right let's go in Okay, that will be theft, so let's not steal. Gods keep you.
What are you talking about? Carry the whiff of ancients. Uh, I did just have a bath. Oh, I can perfectly confront him about the affidavit. Okay, maybe this will give us some side quests. Tell me about these cases. Laura, Oli, and Elshka? Probably mispronounced that one. Uh, so who's missing? Lendry, Kendall, and Cora. Okay, tell me about Lendry. Uh, Lendry versus Ollie. Tell me about Kendall. And Cora. Okay. I'm guessing those that are just called Dunrid agents are not going to be relevant. And all of this would be theft, so I'm not looking to make enemies here. Looks like we're gonna go up to the second floor, or well. I guess this is the ground floor and the next would be the first floor, but... Conventions differ. Oh, she'll see me now, will she? I let her know when it's convenient to me. I'm guessing all the containers in here are going to be uh, labeled as theft. Yeah. Oh well. Wait, give me a second. Controls. Did I have a quick save? Quick save F5. Quick load F9. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, Lady Web, I guess. The woman clutches a thick stack of parchment with spindly, wrinkled fingers, their flesh stretched thin to near translucence with extreme age. A gossamer veil over pale blue veins, ink splotches and candle burns dot and stripe her hands like a quilt patterned after some great indescribable truth. She does not, not look up from her reading. So, the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. 
So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. <laughs> this is exactly what I would picture Aloth's mother to be like. And this fiasco in the sanitarium that you seem to have gotten yourself into the middle of. What in blazes possessed you to stir that nest of trouble? I'm investigating a strange group. Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. It seems Why like a bad idea to lie. The leaden key? Uh, I ran across a man in one of the ruins. It's important that I find him again. Oh, now she finally looks at us. The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aeora has ever known. Okay, how do you know it's him I seek? Because you have seen his face, and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems. It must have been a special occasion. What can you tell me about him? More than most, though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed... Theos was the one who created it. What scraps of evidence exist suggest that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man, awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes. The plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Woodica's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. Okay, how do you know so much? The same way I come by all my knowledge. Exhaustive research, spying, bribery, perhaps some less savory measures. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos, there is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks far too well. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now, though I believe they were many. Okay, what else is there to know about the Leaden Key? Precious little, I'm afraid. You may know much of it already. No one member knows the identity of more than a handful of other members. 
They are kept in the dark of missions they are not involved in, or sometimes of those they are involved in. They exist to hide secrets they themselves don't know. If you can imagine how gullible someone must be for that to appeal. Despite that, they are very good at what they do, owing much to their founder, who will take matters into his own hands when necessary. And he does not fail. Uh, what do you want from me? Keep me informed. The Leaden Key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it, and provide you with what assistance I can. Okay. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Is there something I can tell her? Well, let's hear it. Yeah, found him in the sanitarium. Impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me. It is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. Yeah, it's not gonna work out for him. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. Okay, that's all we know for now. Yes? <laughs> How old are you? lost count ages ago. Such a strange thing to celebrate, getting closer to death. Oh, I've had my share of work done to prolong my existence, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not done here. There are things I still wish to learn. And I'll be the effigy if I let Bereth carry me off before I'm through. There was a time when I considered enlisting the theorems of Pondgrum to extend my life indefinitely. I found the thought of devouring my political enemies to sustain my own life greatly appealing. I must have gone soft with age. Is there a Lord Webb? There was. What happened to him? He believed in dying with dignity. He was old-fashioned that way, my husband. We saw the world very differently, he and I. But he was good to me while he lasted. Are you psychic? If you are hoping I can look at your hand and tell you whom you should marry, you can just wipe that notion from your mind. I do not know what will happen tomorrow. That is what I pay spies for. Being a cipher is not unlike being a watcher. You notice more about what is already there. Many can hold an object and know where it's been, or peer into the thoughts of people around them. They can also sometimes affect those thoughts, but that would be unethical, of course. A tiny, talented few pick up so much about the world around them, they can get images of things to come, but these are fleeting and unreliable. Uh, you said you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Who said I was talented? I don't. Least not that I can trust. And with me, it's only ever about one thing anyway. What's that? A quiet day at home. Okay. Bye-bye. Try your best not to die out there. Oh, don't worry. I've got magical powers. 
known as the quick save button. Right, I'm assuming it's still theft if I take stuff, even though she has said she would support me. Yeah, okay. Let's head out then. Oh, oh, I just saw on the loading screen, um, the, the NPCs with gold names where I approach them and get like a sort of bit of story from, from their life. Uh, those are also designed by backers, so cool. Uh, no, I'm not going to give it back to him. Let's be a bit sarcastic. Cheer up, you always thought you were someone special. Soon everyone will know you are. Really? Well, fair enough. There. Uh, sure. Fox. I should just have everyone attack Penhelm. Thereafter, I'll tell the bear to go here and the fox to go here. Oh, they're all going after my poor little priest, Durance. He's going to go down. Did I damage just none of them so far? Oh, Penelm's bad nature. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Uh, why don't you knock down Penhelm? I don't know. Just say the word. Yeah, main character is going to go down probably. And I'm just knocked out, okay. Why don't you summon some skeletons here? Skeletons go. These guys are all near death, but not just quite there yet. Well, some of them are near death anyway. There we go.
Okay, now everyone should be back to their feet. Uh, well, we got some stuff, I guess. And we found the breastplate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're supposed to return to Osric that was in Copper Lane in the um the hall place where the mercenary guys are, I think. As I said, it's been like a month since I last played, so and what did I get hit by Swollen Eye? And a wrench trawler. I'm gonna have to rest in a bit. A copper lane, if I remember correctly. I must say one thing I don't... I'm not sure if I enjoy is the ability to retrain my characters. It's one thing that really killed the replay value of uh, Dark Souls 2 and 3 for me. The fact that you can respec your characters. Now this game doesn't have it quite as much because you can change your class of course. So... Um, the, the classes are very different whereas in Dark Souls 2 and 3 of course the class you've picked is essentially irrelevant. Uh, after like an hour of play. But I still prefer it in Dark Souls 1 where you had a character build that, that mattered, whereas in, in Dark Souls 2, you know, the, the choices as to your build were never actually permanent or relevant. Alright, you're just normal people. That would be stealing. Now where is Osric? There you are, Osric. Is this what you wanted? Uh, you are right about the affidavit. Unfortunately, Penhelm forced me into a fight. Okay, why did you want this armor so badly? Okay, commemorates the order of Margaret. Nice, we have completed this quest. How are our experience meters looking? We are getting there. And we've now unlocked this shop, so we can definitely sell some stuff we found. Hail, traveler. Oh, so you'd sell exceptional weapons. Certainly does a bit more damage than my fine war bow. But it is also very expensive. I mean, I have a decent amount of cash at the moment, but... Yeah. Definitely sell all of the random... ...junk I've gotten. Mm 
Mm. None of it is particularly valuable, but... It just takes up space. No, Paul also have a bunch of grimoires. I'm keeping all that. Guess I'll keep the Fulvano stuff just because. And I'll keep all of this because it might come in handy for something. Okay, exceptional stuff, fine stuff. Races of all consuming rage. Of might, two of constitution plus one. That's not horrible. Okay, so you already have constitution and resolve. Dandy hat of the diseased yak. Okay, not interested. Snurf's folly. Resolve constitution. Not horrible. Bile Stompers, Minor Spellbind, Corrosive Cloud, Corrode DR Bonus. Lance Minor Fetid Caress. Can I not see what that does? Can't right click it. Uh, I get an increased damage reduction to Corrode damage. But I don't know what Minor Fetid Caress means. Cloak of the Fox and Hunter. Summon noble creatures of will plus 5, of reflex plus 9. That's not horrible. Okay, this is interesting at least. I think I'll buy that. Minor Spellbind Whisper of Treason of Will plus 12. Maybe. <laughs> uh, properties Rage Bonus. Oh, it's only for barbarians. I don't use barbarians. Okay. Well, I'll buy the Cloak of the Fox and the Hunter. Now, who of my characters could make use of that? Will and Reflex, what do you currently have? Defiance, Concentration plus 10. I think it befits her. Like, with a story that's associated with this item. It's good on a hunter. And you can have that thing then. Oh wait, no you can't. Can you not just... Only usable by ranger. Oh, fine. I guess this goes on him. There. Okay. So we did the thing for Osric. We are going to go rest at the inn. I did spend a bunch of time editing out the 
Um, the loading screens out of you one video. Gather your party before venturing forth. By the way, but uh, I'm not sure I'll keep doing that. It was a lot of effort, and most of the loading screens are fairly quick, so I won't talk during them because the voice sometimes gets cut off a bit. But I won't um, won't always be cutting them out. I don't think. Yeah. Is not my Just part to get the word. it. There we go. I don't know what that was. Can do. How do you do? Um. There we go. Everyone's fine again. I wonder, Alok, don't you ever feel curious about Isilmir's history? Oh, I, I got I noticed too late that there was a uh, party dialogue going on. Um it can sometimes be quite funny. When the party members interact with each other. So I'm trying to uh, not cut that or talk over it, but sometimes it happens. Alright, we want to go to Andra's gift. I have a um, fair amount of quests here, if I remember correctly. I'll take the sugar. Got some refugees here. Let's just explore a bit, I suppose. Okay, we got some addicts. I guess I'll leave them to it. It's not considered stealing. I'm allowed to do it. Hello, troll fetch. Where are you? <laughs> uh. He might be involved in other quests. So are these. I'll grant you that Andamancy has had its failures, Bal Reach among them. But does that warrant attacks on innocent practitioners? Superstitious kith have spilled their share of blood. That's no comparison. Anamancers had the advantage of education, and with that comes authority and responsibility. I have to say, it's wonderful to have someone to debate with. You'd think they'd be more welcoming of it at the law college. Or we could enjoy a glass of wine and a comfortable silence. Yeah, yeah it, it's funny, those little like, snippets of dialogue. I think they really like help flesh out the characters without having it be like a full on uh, you know conversation tree that you navigate through or a cutscene or something just you, you get a hint of what the characters are beyond like the quests they give you which I think is a cool cool thing to do Not labeled as stealing. No. I'll never fucking mind.
I also like the thing where the um, the copper pieces are like not quite the same. They all have the value of one one copper, but they're like different currencies basically. Well, at least I've noticed for the for the gold pieces. I'm not sure if it's also the case for the copper ones. But anyway, um, figures huddled together as standard attention arm, but not match gear like the Crucible Knight at the center of the group. One woman looms over another, holding a flail. She snarls at the cowering figure. You've got pages of research here. You expect me to believe this was just your scratch works, scratch work. What's all this then? Uh, for some reason the phrase what's all this then is just funny to me. I, I know that's not what it actually says here, but I imagine that's what my character's saying. <sighs> well, if you insist. Alright, I can't rotate the screen thing. Um... Antelope companion, never seen those before. And my back line shall attack. I don't know, whatever, but start with the same. Note that I'm attempting to deliberately funnel the enemies here. I'm not sure if it'll work out, but this is intentional positioning, what you're seeing here. For what it's worth, at least. Are we... Oh, we're dazed, okay. And how about we actually use some cool spell? Sure, let's put down a trap. I'm just giving, giving some of these abilities. Nope. Keep attacking, uh, sure, that guy. Okay, we're still mostly good. And my priest is taking a bit of a beating, but that's fine. Let's pull down a pillar of faith on Dotwina. No, oh, I can summon some skeletons. Convenient, convenient. Put them down here. And sure, attack the priest. Love. Rest of my front line will take out this mercenary. And then we'll go after that mercenary. Make sure you go there, Adair. Thank this lady. Try to get her knocked down. Nice. Okay, I think we've got this. Uh, what just happened? Now this project. Uh, tell me about yourself. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll take care of your injuries uh, eventually. So, I meant to Aussie are back in the Valian Republics. Can you find something? Oh.
Oh, just a fine flail. And arrow breaker. Plus one move speed, defense action against ranged attacks. That might be interesting. I'm on it. No. Oh. Definitely take a hammer and chisel. Is she gonna follow us? Quest involving her. No, 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 oh. Oh, she's not coming with us. We, we were supposed to hand over the research ourselves, right? Okay, Crucible Knight. There's lots more to explore here, I am aware. I'm, I'm going to go there. Uh, later, I just want to try and finish the side quest, and then maybe it will be a good cut for the episode. I don't know. That was in the first fires. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm trying to. Uh, where was the guy? Somewhere in the Porch, if I remember correctly, to the side here. Dunstan. So much for his talk of secrecy. I, I'm building Cleaver's metal warriors. He says they're what we need to keep order and defiance bay. So. And you need the research to complete them. Um. Let's talk to the, the head guy first, see if maybe there's more to the story. Oh, we discovered the barracks. Cool. Well, obviously this would all be theft. And where was the head guy? Over here somewhere. Let's see if we can ask him about where he got those souls from before we hand over the research. Okay, no he doesn't. So let's 
hand it over. I thought maybe with the things that the, the guy said there might be some uh, so more to the story we can actually unravel ourselves. I suppose Cleaver sent you down here to get me working on those forge knights, eh? Here's the research. That's what Cleaver's been looking for anyway. If you found it, I guess I've got to start. You don't sound too happy about this. Now, time to see if that Valian was worth all that blood and copper. I'll be damned. To be honest, even I wasn't expecting it to work this well. Back to it. Cleaver will want me to finish the rest of them. And it sounded like he has a job for you, too. Uh, show me what you have for sale. The White Spire. Unique Estor. Hmm. It's interesting, it's very expensive and I'm not going to buy it right now because I don't know if I'll need it, but not bad at all. Lots of fine equipment. Heldrick's coat. Defense against prone attacks, 15 defense against push attacks. That's not bad. Again, very pricey, and I'm not currently looking to to buy that sort of stuff. Mostly because I don't really know like how much better equipment we'll get as I get through the game. Are these already late game items? Will I be replacing them soon anyway? Because right now, on this difficulty level at least, I'm not really struggling with the combat too much. Uh, burn minor spellbind firebrand. Okay. It's not horrible. Ability to summon a burning sword. Again, fairly pricey. I'll leave it for later, but you know the options there. No, I don't want to buy them. I was going to look at them. I just left click instead of right click. Uh, grants consecrated ground when hit by a critical hit. No, that doesn't seem too significant. Various potions and a torch. No, I'm. Pretty much good, I think. Did I get any? Oh yeah, you can buy all of the random junk I got from the uh, people attacking the researcher. Okay. This with me, and I want all of the lock picks with me. Oh, yeah, I was going to look at all of these things. Um, put them in my research. I was going. I have enough copper now where I can afford these few hundred coppers to uh, learn some of these spells. And that way, when I level up, I can make sure I don't double up on spells. So I already know which ones I have in the in the books. Most of these are going to be similar anyway. So I won't have to pay too much, and if it's just, it'll be like 2,000 copper in total, maybe. Uh, I just said like again, try to avoid it. 
least in that context. Okay, we have all those. Bolt, sure. Rolling flame. Many of these spells I'll never use, but I want the option. Uh, just in case. That's got a weird sound effect. Did I just learn all level 1 spells? Or was that just background music? Yes. Oh, right, let's look at your grimoire. Fan of flames I never really use. I do sometimes use the missiles and the dazzling lights. Let's see what else we have. Uh, calls a blinding the white icy fog into existence, inflicting blindness and freeze damage. Sometimes, as you can see, this here, like the text, isn't quite sharp. I'm not sure if it comes across on video, but I think there's, there's a bit of a blurry effect to all of the text in this uh, sort of hint or tool tip or whatever. Um, the explanation of what the spell does, basically. The go of Eldritch Aim, it's all fairly sharp, so I don't know. Grants the caster otherworldly sight, resulting in pre preternatural accuracy for a short period. Uh, I mean, this might be useful if he's forced into a melee situation. But he's not so much a um, support character for me as, as he is a damage dealer, maybe. Stick him. Maybe I'll give him some support uh, abilities. Okay, what do we have? Binding webs, good. Curse of Black Inside is good. Necrotic Lance is good for a damage spell. Um. This is not bad, so let's use it. And for third level... Cool, sounds like a more powerful damage spell. This placed image. Here, yeah, this is a good defensive buff, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, this seems like it's just going to backfire way too much and hit my own party. Let's go for just a standard fireball. Every wizard should be able to cast a fireball, right? I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I cast fireball. Indeed. Sorry, I find that just, just say funny. The word. I don't even know where it's from originally. I think I saw it on a t-shirt. But it, it's it's just it sounds funny anyway. Maybe you had to be there. Let's talk to the commander then. Uh, was there more you needed? Dunstan will complete the first squad of Forge Knights in no time. Now the High Justice will want to have his Forge Masters at Fleetbreaker Castle create more. I've made a copy of Viana's research. And the High Justice has sent a courier to Anslog's Compass to retrieve it. The dozens have gotten too active for the courier to come to Defiance Bay. And after Viana's kidnapping, we've got to assume they know about our plans. That's why I'm sending you to deliver the research. You shouldn't be recognizable to the dozens. Yet. Now that's a re revealing word, yeah. Anslog's compass is a small lagoon just north of Defiance Bay. Your contact will be a commander named Aaron Road. She'll meet you by the docks. Return to me when you've finished. The High Justice has made the expansion of the Forge Knights his top priority, which means it's mine as well. Well, before we do that, there are a bunch of other 
side quests I still have in Defiance Bay and the outskirts of it. Um, but it's been about an hour, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.